everything is in motion. Everything vibrates at all times. So exhausting <laughs> to say you have something moving back and forth across a, a plank length. All matter is doing that at all times because everything is always in motion, always. So to say, let's do it at a plank length, plank length and it's time at infinity. I don't know how the connecting plank length and infinity time in that question, but uh, everything is always in motion at all times. And it has nothing to do with measuring time at infinity. Gotcha. All right. Especially in this city, huh? <laughs> New York City. All right. I'm fired. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from Vinay uh, Kashiap. He says, What's hello. What's first name? Vinay. Vinay. Okay. Vinay. Mm -hmm. It's how I would say Vinny if I was being fancy. Okay. Okay. Vinay. Yes. Vinay. Uh, he's, uh, hello, this is Vinay from India. I was just wondering why black holes can't just be dark matter. There seems to be a lot of them. They are massive and seem to have more gravity. Most importantly, we can't see them. Let's list the dark matter candidates. Would there be dark clouds? Could there be vagabond planets that are not illuminated by a host star that got ejected into the galaxy? Could it be black holes? It turns out the physics of the early universe limits how much ordinary matter there can be. Black holes count as ordinary matter because you make them from ordinary matter.